Greek Sculptures by Avery Hamsch. The first period of the art was the Archaic period. It was the 8th to the early 5th century BC. This period was highly influenced by the ancient Egyptians. This period was a time of emphasizing the human form. The Greeks tried very hard to perfect the human body shapes. Although they tried their best to imitate the human body, it wasn't working. Most of their sculptures turned out to look rigid and unnatural. They assembled their bodies like mannequins are assembled today. A typical Greek sculpture of a human body was standing upright, feet together, and a very blank stare on their face. The Greeks actually were the first to create freestanding sculpture of this time. The second period of art is the Classical period. It took place in the 5th to the 4th century BC. The Classical period started right after the Persian invasion in 490 BC. All the artists had a sense of optimism and started making their sculptures more real. The biggest achievement of this time was the form of people so lifelike. Many sculptures had one leg extended. This is done to give the statue a sense of gravity to make it more realistic. The discus thrower is one of the most famous sculptures in Greek by the artist Myron. You can find this famous sculpture in the National Museum of Rome. Myron did an excellent job of creating a natural athlete looking figure. The muscles were flexing as if he was just about to release the discus. The last main period of art is the Hellenistic period. This period started at the end of the 4th century all the way till the Roman invasion in the 1st century BC. During this period, as the Greek Empire expanded, so did the Greek art. Greek art was spreading worldwide. In this period, artists started to emphasize the movement of the human body. The Nike of Samara statue is claimed to be the masterpiece of the Hellenistic period because of its dynamic movement. It shows the wings blown back and the wrinkles on the dress because of the wind. Without Greek art, there wouldn't have been as many sculptures and ideas today. The Greek sculptures took art to a new level and their contributions have been helpful. I hope you liked my photo story of Greek sculptures.